Hello there, folks. Welcome back. You're watching McCrayathon 20. We are going to be now moving on to the next one very shortly, which is Dirt 2 by Leviathan. My name is Tiny Tim 78 and I have the pleasure of your company for a few hours here. We've got some amazing ones coming up. So without further ado, we're going to hand it over to Leviathan. Uh, take it away. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm and I'm gonna be running uh, Colin McRae's Dirt 2 on uh, the PC. It's the shortest run currently, and uh, it's called X Games Percent Europe. And uh, yeah, if already, yeah, we can uh, do a countdown and start the run. All right, five, four, three, two, one, go. So this is the seventh game of the. Of the entire franchise, and uh, sadly, it's the first game um, in the Macri series since uh, Colin Macri's death. And this is the last one to feature uh, his name. So, this run is uh, getting to level 8 for the quickest. So we can start doing the X Games uh, Europe. So um, in the beginning, I'm gonna be doing a lot of spinning. It's gonna take around uh, two, two and a half minutes. It's for uh, grinding uh, the early XP, so I can jump uh, three or four levels at once. But after that, uh, it should be like uh, normal racing. Um, I know it's a bit. Um, it can be a bit dizzy, but um, just just two more minutes at max. Currently, uh, we I'm hoping for a good RNG when my car stays to the this wall that I'm currently near, and uh, when the AI cars come around the corner. They won't bother me, or actually, if I'm lucky, they're gonna boost me, so I can spin a bit faster. And we're gonna see it. Yeah, it looks good. Yes, this is uh, almost. I almost got it. Um, and we are we are just in time. It's it's actually looking good. Yeah. So just a bit more. Uh, shot it uh, win in window mode because uh, of the speech skips. I need need to move the window around. That's uh, why. Uh, also, this is the only this is the first run and the only race uh, where I'm using um, car setup for the shortest gears, so you can do on the second gear these uh, fast spins. And yeah, coming around the corner, I should be done soon. Yeah. Alright, and I'm done, and I'm gonna restart the race, and set back the gear ratio and do the actual race. Uh, as you can notice, I'm using uh, manual shifting because, uh, like in almost every game, uh, it's the fastest way of uh, driving a car. Uh, sometimes the AI can be a bit uh, pushy, and that's, um, that's the uh, worst part of, uh, of this game. Oh, I got a little push there, so but I, I managed to get it under control, so it's fine.
here uh, I'm using wall grind for uh, avoiding the traffic at the turns. Uh, it's not specifically faster, but helps uh, avoid traffic. And that's the first race done. Yes. Um, and we can do... Well, it's a two-level skip. And we get a lot of libraries for a lot of cards, which, are, which uh, we are not gonna use. Mostly. Uh, this game is uh, featuring uh, actually like an an, an RV for uh, quote unquote uh, headquarters, and you use it to drive around the world for um, different races. So that's what you see now, uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna. Welcome to the. Ra and as you see, I'm using, uh, I'm playing on extreme difficulty for uh, for the money because you get uh, you get more money uh, with the difficulty increase, and that's gonna be used for the third race where I'm gonna be buying a new car. And yeah, it's really in Croatia. Croatia. Uh, here you usually wanna you usually wanna get um, below 147 regardless of difficulty because uh, the AI is uh, almost hard coded uh, for the runs and they have uh, like a, a small range of uh, times they finish on each race. doing that would you mind if I say a few words? Uh, yeah just go ahead. Okay fantastic. Well thank you very much. You're watching uh, Macrayathon 2021 for benefiting mind so any donations that you can uh, contribute would be greatly appreciated. It is an absolute fantastic cause and it is really really useful in these these times at the moment. Uh, Macrayathon is a two-day speedrunning marathon held annually here on both the Macrayathon and the SG channels. Through the power of the internet, we're bringing you two full days of racing goodness from the comfort of our own homes to yours. We are raising money for Mind, which is a nationwide organization committed to preventing mental health issues and to support everyone who has dealt with mental health issues themselves or within their family. All of the donations do go to Mind. We've raised 50 euros so far. Please keep those donations coming in. Thank you. All right. The the next race is gonna be gonna be with a new car. And just in a second. Yeah, getting new races. It's in uh, Baja. 
and extreme difficulty, yes, and I'm gonna buy the Bowler Nemesis, uh, because in this price category, this is the fastest, or in general, this is the fastest uh, uh, truck you can get. And actually, while I'm not 100% uh, comfortable with the handling of this car, the speed is uh, definitely one of the top here. <clears throat> So, and since uh, since the AI can be a bit pushover, um, I'm gonna be I'm always playing this on uh, a bit safe and not really pushing at the first few corners because uh, they they can spin me out pretty easily, as well as block me completely. And if, as you can, gonna see, one of them is gonna, yeah, on the left one, the left car has been, that's actually scripted, and uh, on the first uh, lap of every race here, one of the cars in front of you is gonna spin. It's just a pretty neat thing. And actually, this took me a few months to uh, to discover, but this corner is really tricky because you, instead of going in uh, and starting out wide and going in uh, into the middle for the apex, hitting the apex, it actually doesn't really work because you you wanna go as wide in as wide as you possible uh, possibly can, so you can um, get out much faster speed than coming out of the corner. And this is the uh, third game, uh, third race. Oh my god, yeah, Trovox. Yeah, next one I'm gonna be... The next race is... Uh, a last one standing, which uh, comes by the name Last Car Standing. Uh, that's actually pretty easy to do. Uh, shouldn't give us too much trouble, but then again, it's a tight, uh, a tight um, racetrack, and this, uh, the chance to being spooned out by the AI is pretty high. Last man standing. Yes. I'm gonna be using the stock car here. Want to watch Dave Miller? This was pretty uh, smooth.
yeah, it's yeah, it's an e it was an easy easy win. Yeah. And for the next race, it's gonna be a bit of a skill check. Uh, it's yeah, it's pretty much a sk skill check. Uh, it's basically a timed run, which you have to complete under a, a pretty pretty tight time. <coughs> so you, I, I, uh, it took me a few weeks to master. Oh yes, the nice uh, interior <sighs> toys in the money, yeah. And uh, Christian is teasing us the X Games Europe, and he's gonna give us a few new races. And I'm, uh, I'm gonna do this on hardcore and buy a new car for it, which is the Pontiac. It for this track, it's the fastest car. Um, also, of course, in this price range, fifty-two thirty-six. I haven't got that time in a long time. Yeah, uh, it's kind of worrying because uh, it's a bit tighter. It's usually fifty-two. Uh, say easy but it's uh, it really takes skill I'm glad I managed to do this on first try uh, from this point now on it's um, it's it's a cakewalk because <laughs> one more race and uh, then the X games Yes, this is uh, this race is included in uh, the first X Games. Oh no! Yes, and I knew it. Oh god damn! This is what I feared actually. Um, the game crashing, which is uh, I have no idea. So just let me restart it quickly. Just bear with us, folks. Just restarting. All right. This is crazy stuff, man. All right, and we should be ready to go. Yeah. Yep. All right. It it's good. Yeah. What? What's happening?
This is crazy stuff, man. It's called... Yes, and we are back! <laughs> Alright. Seems like the game doesn't like being on a windowed full screen. Yeah, it uh, should be good now. And on this track you can... Yeah, hopefully not. Yeah, because I'm pretty far ahead already, so... This is this is a good RNG, actually, if... Uh, you can get ahead of the pack this early. Because then you have um, just a free road ahead of you. You don't have to worry about the AI spinning you out or pushing you around. I took that uh, shortcut, which is actually not a shortcut, but that enables me to take uh, take that corner in a higher angle without lifting uh, lifting my finger from the throttle. And yes, this should give us the level eight, just just the beginning of level eight, which uh, is en uh, enough for uh, us to enter. Yes. The uh, X Games Europe, which is a uh, three race. Uh, oh, wait, yeah. Um, and basically, uh, it includes uh, three races from the from these races that are, that we did. Uh, so it's almost it will almost be the same, but it's like a championship, so you will get points and uh, at the end of races. And that will determine determine your position on the final. I'm gonna do is do it on serious because uh, if I manage to um, spin, uh, I can still save it by coming back and not restarting. So this is the race that we just did. Again ahead of the pack, which is which is a good sign.
Ooh, that was near miss. Good stone. First place, as always. Uh, actually, I uh, kind of lied. The second race is in. Um, we haven't done the second race previously. Uh, it's uh, actually a trailblazer ca um, uh, dressed up as a rally. I have no idea how or why, but uh, you will you will see it's in Morocco, as you can see. It has some pretty interesting uh, risky skips, but uh, it's like a high risk, high reward kind of thing. Let's see how it goes. And there is an interesting... Um, mechanic uh, hidden in the game uh, which uh, is discourages driving on uh, on everything else other than the road and it will just start throwing your car around as you can see and it will reset when you touch the actual ro road but oh well this was actually pretty pretty nice skip it usually bounces a lot more I got two good lure too. I'm surprised to be sure, but a welcome one. Uh, also, regarding the difficulty of this game, you don't really wanna go too low. On, uh, on easy runs like uh, the X Games because uh, the AI can actually block you because uh, because the, they are going too slow it's so a 135 that's uh, low on 36 that's actually pretty decent um, so the AI can go very slow and they can actually um, slow you down with you uh, on your run so it's recommended just going a few, like one or two below your uh, actual skill level or the requirement of the run. In this case it's extreme. So I just only go down to like serious. Yeah, thanks Yosef. And this is the last race of the run. It's just a normal 3 lap circuit race. Now you can see a prime example of uh, the um, easier AI in action.
right, we are coming up on the last few corners uh, of the race. And if I once uh, I cross the line, uh, that's time. And time. GG? Ah, thank you. Very well. Uh, yes, it uh, was a pretty nice run, yeah. And that's that's third to X Games Europe for you. Uh, what's the time? Uh, time is time is coming up thirty thirty-five. Ah, uh, that's like two minutes slower than uh, my actual PB, but uh, yeah, because we had uh, two crashes. We had the crashes, yeah. The timer was still going, I believe. So yeah, that was a very good run. Yeah, it was. Actu I actually surprised myself as well. Because I didn't expect this to be this good. <laughs> All right. Um, I uh, lastly I want to sh uh, shout out to uh, Yosef, uh, Viper, Katkasha, and Transboy for uh, supporting me in uh, making the guides and runs for uh, to getting this game started off on speedrun. I'm really glad they they were there for me and endured me <laughs> with my stupidity sometimes. Uh, without them, it couldn't. I couldn't be here right now. Yeah, and uh, that's dirt too for you. Thank you for joining. Well, thank you very much indeed, Leviathan. That was a fantastic one. Really, really enjoyed that. So stay with us, folks. We'll be back very shortly. The Crayathon 2021 will continue. We've got WRC 5 by Rajon just coming up very shortly. So stay with us. Thank you.